Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're doing a video that honestly now that I'm thinking about it might have already done before but um, we're going to be taking a team and I used the Tampa Bay Lightning, picked on them and I just spread the players that they have across different teams. I just went to the roster movement thing or player movement and just kind of passed on players for the lowest available player on that roster. So I'm going to see what the AI GM can do with this team, pretty much, over the span of five years. If they get close within five years, maybe you'll get a little bonus and we'll do six years just to see what happens. But yeah, uh, they don't really have a whole lot going on for them. Their best player is Brian Elliott. And I am not going to be them because we want to be an AI, or we want them to be an AI GM. Uh, I pretty much am an AI GM because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. But, uh, yeah, I guess I should probably pick a team in their division, right? Just so we can kind of see the standings. I'll just be Toronto. Why not? doesn't really matter what team I am because we're not even going to be paying attention to anything that I'm doing. So we're going to turn owner mode off. Salary cap will leave it on. Head coach, edit lines. Yeah, I'm going to do auto for all this stuff because I do not plan on doing it. Player morale. You know what? No, I'll, I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. Okay, and then CPU trades, of course, because we want to see if they make any moves or what have you. Okay, let's continue. And I'm going to turn injuries off. Because... Ah! Uh, should I? Should I leave them on? No, I think people prefer when they're off. I kind of like when they're on sometimes, as long as it doesn't bug you. Which I think if you have the head coach edit lines, then it kind of does that. But it probably still has a notification. Maybe you could turn that off. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, let's do stars only. And, yeah, you can let me know if there's a uh, blockbuster trade or a head coach being fired. I actually, see, personally, I would prefer to have injuries on. If I was doing my own franchise mode sort of off thingy here and I wanted to sim the whole season, I would just like the assistant coach to manage the roster throughout the year. And I would just sim the whole year and see how it goes. And if someone gets hurt, then so be it. They got hurt, you know? But, uh, oh, look at that. Our first game is against Tampa Bay. Interesting. I mean, it is preseason. But uh, let's sim up to the regular season. And then I'm going to go ahead and view lines just to see if they've already made any additions. I don't know if there's anyone in free agency they could add or what or if they make trades. But I have a feeling that, uh, or I'm very confident, as a matter of fact, that they are just going to be stinky in year one. So here we go. View lines. They're going to get a good draft pick, though. And Tampa Bay Lightning. Yep. They are not good. So there you go. There's their team. They actually, some of the players from the AHL team made it up on defense. Okay. And in net, they got Brian Elliott and Dustin Tokarski. All right. So let us see what exactly the AIGM will do with this team over five years. Year number one. Coming your way. Well, well, well. What do we have here? The Tampa Bay Lightning have fired their head coach. I'm not really surprised by that. That's a pretty big and pretty weird trade, I must say. And the Columbus Blue Jackets win the Stanley Cup. Okay. Tampa Bay does get the first overall pick, so there you have it. Nice. They end up getting the best pick in the draft. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure. I don't want to skip past the draft. I want to go into actually see who they take, which, I mean, it's obviously going to be... A real good player, and it's probably going to be Shane Wright. Yeah, high elite, 78 overall, center playmaker. That's a good start, Tampa. And they're probably going to have some decent players to try to sign in free agency this year. They might have to overpay them, though, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just get out of here now. Let's have a quick look at the free agents that are available this year. Holy! Okay, Tampa Bay could load up if they have the cap. That is a hefty free agency. Man, there is a lot of players here. What the heck? Okay. Interesting. Let's go to the goaltenders and see if there's anyone there. Flurry, Kemper. Yeah, they, there's a lot. Of, okay. Let's see who they end up grabbing. Or if anyone even wants to sign with them. They might have to overpay drastically because people are going to be like, oh. Your team sucks. I don't want to play here. All right, moment of truth. Let's view the lines and see what Tampa Bay has done to their squadrons. Tampa Bay Lightning. They added Trocek and Kessel. I see Roslovich here as well. Patty Maroon. Okay, so they did add a few players. They didn't beef up too much, though. They added P.K. Subban. And then they got Foot. They got Miller, who, 
both were not there before. Threes, if you will. If you've seen my Goalie Be a Pro series, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to goaltenders. They got Vili Huso in net. All right. So, I mean, I guess they're improving a little bit. Slowly but surely. I wonder, like, how much is Pierlini making right now? Yeah, okay. So, they're probably... I thought they'd be, like, overpaying some of these players. Trocek probably got overpaid. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's probably what he was asking for, though, honestly. Okay, well, let's do this thing. Let's simulate this year and see what ends up happening. I'm kind of surprised they don't have Shane Wright on the team, if I'm going to be honest. But, whatever. Not my team. I also just realized I didn't really look at any of the player stats or team standings for Tampa last year. But, I'm not super upset about that because we all know they finished last anyway. So, it doesn't really matter. And we know that the players were not going to have an impressive amount of points either. But, uh, you know, now they have some players that are worth going to look at, seeing what kind of points they put up during this simulation. And what the heck? They were 8-2-1? Did I read that right? Wow. All right. This GM knows what he's doing. What am I witnessing right now? They are first place in the division. How is that? I don't get it. I really don't understand. There is something in this simulation engine that EA is not telling us about. I'll also just show you guys who's on the trade deadline block this year. Oh, wow. Patrick Haynes on the block. Larkin, Bertuzzi. There's a lot of good players on the block here. Very interesting. Okay. Well, there you go. It is a big trade deadline this year. Let's see if any blockbuster trades are made. I'm assuming there's going to be at least one. But you never really know. Okay, there we go. Um... That's not exactly the trade I was expecting to see, but okay. Is there more than one? No, there was not. The Lightning are falling. They're down there, but it's looking like they could still qualify for the playoffs. Even if they don't, I mean, what a run for them. Okay, stop the simulation. Somehow Toronto doesn't make it year two. I don't know what the auto GM did with my team. I haven't bothered looking at a boy Matthews. Okay, well... Actually, you know what? Let's just sim past the playoffs for now. Find out who wins the cup, and then we'll go look at Tampa Bay stats. And see how the players did. All right. Here we go. Playoff time. Who will win the ultimate prize? Apparently, my cat was in here the whole time and I didn't even know it. Well, one of my cats anyway. Got two. But uh, yeah, that was, that was weird. I see her noise kind of looking around like, what is that? And then it turns out they were at the door. So uh, yeah, fun fact. If you heard those sounds, then now you know what they were. But um, let's have a look at... The Tampa Bay Lightning stat, shall we? So they finished better than Toronto. They finished fifth in the Atlantic right here with a record of 38, 36, and 8. So they definitely started off hot and really cooled down. Like big time cooled down. But you know what? That's still impressive for year two. And if we go look at the player stats now, which we could also kind of see if they added any... Nope, they didn't. Doesn't look like it. Trocek had 74 points though. Look at this guy go. Phil Kessel with 60, Rozovic with 50, 45 from Pierlini. All right, let's kind of scroll through the entire team here. And I assume their goalie had to do pretty good, right? Yeah, 905, not bad. 34, 25, and 6. So really, it was on the felt that kind of let them down here. 4, 11, and 2. But uh, yeah, Vili Huso, very solid from him. Did he go up at all? Nope, still 82. Just for you guys to note as well, I am checking the trophies, but if there's no Tampa Bay team or player trophies, then there's no point really. I'm not going to show you guys because we are specifically focusing on one team. Huberdo is available in free agency. Why is there so many big free agents, Nate? Like, I don't get it. Right now, there's just a ton of free agents. I mean, it might have to do with the fact that I spread out the Tampa Bay players across the league and how these teams can't afford... The players, but I didn't put any of them on Florida, for example. So I don't know what's going on, but very interesting. Okay, let's check out the goaltenders. Jari, Nadeljkovic. Okay, so yeah, there's just a lot of great players again this year. Vili Huso back in free agency. Let's see if Tampa Bay makes any big pickups this year or if they remain mediocre. All right, Tampa, it is year three. Time is running up, and they got Shane Wright on the first line. Okay, they've definitely improved. Shane Wright is here. Trocek is still there, and they got Bertuzzi now. So that first line is looking solid. Roslovic at 84 now. And then, yeah, the second line is pretty solid. Third line is, it's okay. Not great. Could be better. And the fourth line is decent. What about defense? They got, oh, they picked up Mackenzie Weger. All right, that is huge. 
And now they have him playing with foot and then Miller, Johnson, Clifton, and Subban. Okay, okay. Goalies, they got... All right. But I mean, at least Hugo is up to an 80 overall now. So that's good. But then they got uh, Kincaid as a starting goaltender, 81 overall. All right. All right, predictions. What do you think? Are they going to do better this year than last year? Or are they going to be about the same? Or maybe even worse. What do you, like, what's going on here? All right, let me know. I personally think they're going to do better than last year. But only time will tell. Let's uh, blast off here and sim past the entire season once again. Year three. Here we go. So it looks like I'm wrong so far. They are not off to a hot start. 10, 13, and 5. But it, it's a redeemable record, you know? Just string together a few dubs, and before you know it, you have a winning record, perhaps. Yeah, no, they are struggling this year. It is not going to be a good year for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Well, they tried. Still got two more years, Tampa. Let's see what you can do. Patrick Kane is on the block again this year. And then we got Pasta on the block. Klingberg, this is one of the most crazy franchise modes I've ever seen in terms of free agency and the trading block. Like, this is wild. Columbus wins another Stanley Cup. There you go. All right. I mean, to be fair, I think I did give them one player, but... Uh, was it Kucherov? Might have been Kucherov. Regardless. Uh, let's have a look at how Tampa Bay did this year. It was bad. Real bad. 25, 50, and 7. Yikes. Yeah, they did a lot better last season, somehow. Well, let's have a look at their player stats and see where where they went wrong. Maybe, no, it's definitely not just a goalie. Like, the whole team must have been struggling big time. Bertuzzi had 54 points, but was a dash 38. Oh my. Dash 46 for Trocek. 52 points. He's back down to an 86. All right, where's uh, Shane Wright? There he is. He's an 83 now. Okay, he's getting up there. Mackenzie Wieger. Still in 86. They got Duchesne at some point. Was he there the whole time and I just didn't notice him? Or did they pick him up throughout the year? Not sure. Anyway, uh, yeah. They did not have a good year. Let's see if they can maybe do a little bit better next year. They only signed him to a one-year deal, so they can still get a different goalie this year. And Hugo might go up and overall again, but uh, like I said, you're running out of time here, Tampa. You got two more years. Oh, no. Apparently, they got rid of their first pick and now Chicago has it but they got moved to third like what did they trade for that they didn't get like Patrick Kane or something anyway well uh, let's go to the free agents list again I feel like I'm like an owner right now you know be an owner mode is that a thing or like be a GM mode with owner mode on I mean you just pretty much get canned or in this case though I am the one doing the canning because I'm like you know what Tampa Bay you better get your act together here otherwise you're gone Jackie Moon all right, let's go have a look at the free agents list, shall we? Enough pop-ups, dude. Holy crap. It's like spam. All right, let's go to the free agent list. And here we go. Matthews is there. Okay. Well, I guess our, our GM decided they cannot sign Matthews, but they're going after Latang. Okay, another huge list of free agents this year. Did Kai Ryu just sit in free agency the whole time? Like, I feel like... Some of these players just aren't going anywhere, which is very odd. Okay, let's go to the goaltenders. Yep, Nadeljkovic is still here as well. There is a team interested in him. Fleury is still here at 84 overall now. Okay, well, better, uh, better get ready, Tampa, and better actually do something this time. The penultimate year. The second to last. Tampa Bay Lightning. Okay, okay, they got William Nylander now, who's 91 overall, they got Ryan O'Reilly and Mike Hoffman. They definitely made some money moves this year. Trocek, Wright, and Bertuzzi, which was last year's first line, is going to be their second line this year. So they completely overhauled their first line. Duchesne, Shiri, and Stroh, Miles Wood, Johansson, and Sampo Ranta. Maybe this is the guy they drafted. Oh, it is, apparently. I've not heard of him, but anyway... Good stuff. He's there now. Defensively, they got Uyghur, Tanev, Forbert, Foot, and then Miller and Carlson. And in net, they got Flurry. And then all in the felt's up to an 84. Okay. This is easily their best team on paper. But will it translate to W's? Don't know. We're going to find out. But I would like to imagine that, yes, they are going to be better this year. But I said that last year. 
So who really knows? Let's see if the trade deadline is just as crazy this year. Igor Shesterkin. There it is. And they got Shea Theodore here as well. Kairou is available. You see what I see. Okay, so yeah. Basically, in conclusion, yes. It is once again a bonkers trade deadline. But let's get out of here. I actually haven't even been looking at how Tampa Bay has been doing. I'm just kind of mindlessly going through this right now. But let's have a look. They suck. We are the only team lower than them. Shea Theodore and a sixth to Arizona for Lizowski, Mike Wazowski, and a first. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Casey Middlestat. No, thank you. Wow. Tampa Bay is last in the division. I don't understand it. Their team looks okay to me. Like, if you showed me the team that they had that almost made the playoffs and put it side by side with the team they had this year and said, which team's going to do better? I would think you are an absolute idiot for taking the team that did actually end up doing better over their current team. But somehow, apparently not. They finished last in the Atlantic again with 31 wins. A little bit better than last year, but still not good. And yeah, they had a grand total of 70 points. Where does that put them in the entire league, I wonder? Are they last? Did they finish last in the entire league? Or no? Was there one team below them? It's looking like they might be. Yep, they are last in the entire league once again. Hopefully they didn't trade their first pick again, but I don't know if that's going to be any good for them because this is their last year coming up. So you better get your act together here, Tampa, and allow me to sim up to free agency and see if they win the draft lottery. They don't. They get the third pick. So I'm not even going to bother going in. I'll just continue simming. And let's go view the most likely insane free agent market once again. Here we go. Victor Hedman is headlining this year's free agency. Shea Theodore, the man that we just saw get traded. Uh, Dvorak at 87. Provorov, I follow. Okay, so there's definitely some good players here once again. And in net, we've got Shesterkin at 89 overall, Saros 88, apparently RGM's trying to get Leonard, uh, Vladar is here as well. All right, it is your final year, Tampa Bay, make it a good one. Let's see what Tampa has in store for their final year roster. Guryanov, O'Reilly at 87, and Nylander dropped three overall to an 88. Like, this team looks good, man. If they don't do good, I'm going to be, honestly, I'm going to be fuming. I'm going to be upset for them. I got to give them props. They tried. They really did. Bertuzzi, right, and Trocek on the second line. Uh, Jake Evans. It, like, it's just a good team. It is. Okay. I believe they should make the playoffs. Defensively, Uyghur, Foot, Miller, Shea, and then, like, yeah. Again, defense isn't amazing by any means, but it should definitely get them by. This is going to be big. Goalie. Okay. On the felt at 84. I don't know how he's been doing for them, but I think historically not very good. Yeah. But anyway... Um, he did all right last year, and then they got Dreger backing him up. Okay, is he listed as a starting goalie? He is. So, this team is easily the best team they've had. It looks very solid to me. They've got, you know, some physicality down here with Miles Wood as well. So, in my opinion, this team should easily make the playoffs, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? And the answer is probably going to be no, they won't. The Lightning are last in the division. There's something about this game, man, I'm telling you. Like, it's just very odd. There's no reason for them to be this bad. Unless I'm missing something. In the comments, please let me know. If you're like, no, they should be bad because this, this, and this. I'd be like, fair enough. All right, I'm willing to hear you out. But just looking at their team, there is literally no reason they should be this bad. It makes zero sense. I'm going to give you a dub, Tampa. I don't care. The GM, you're getting a pass. Because you did well. But I'm blaming the game and the simulation engine. I feel like allergy season is definitely coming back. Okay. Um, Marty... Is on the block. 87 overall. Markstrom is there too. Strom. Okay, so it's not as strong this year, but still a good, you know, deadline. I guess, it, like, I don't know what to call it. Just a deadline block in general. There's a lot of good players here still, but it's just, you know, not not as crazy as it has been. Is Di Pietro simming good? I'm curious because he never simmed well for me in Houston, but I want to see if he's, yeah, he seems to be doing okay. Well... That season wasn't great, but I mean, overall, he's not doing awful. Okay, well, there you go. boy, Mikey. Let's get out of here, and let's go have a look at Tampa Bay's 
last place team once again you know what just for fun sure let's claim casey middlestat oh they might not they they won't they will not finish last in the division okay that's a big step up let's go here and see how they did stats wise individually i am still at a loss for words but that is not the first time especially you know considering how often i simulate in these franchise modes columbus wins again holy man what is going on over there can i i want to look at their team like who the heck do you have okay let's go back and let's view the standings here okay so i'm gonna have to go over to the metro to view columbus but tampa is right here and they had 33 wins on the season not good 71 points which is only one more than last year literally makes no sense okay metro columbus okay who who do you have they got i don't get it what am i missing i do not understand look they got forbert and they did well they also have shiri who i think did they i don't remember but i'm pretty sure that tampa did have them at some point merceekins and campbell i don't know man i don't know what to tell you okay well let's go to the player stats here tampa bay lightning and yeah this is just like another prime example of the simulation engine needing a tweak because as we also saw when i put the 99 overall player in the ahl they didn't do any better than they were doing in the nhl which makes zero sense to me but regardless here's the player stats shane right now up to 86 overall i don't know how he's getting better it's actually impressive um bertuzzi 86 uh, pekka is up to 83 at a boy I'm not sure who this guy was either, but he's at 81 now. All right, well, I guess this team is just, you know, destined to be poo. Olnefeld actually did pretty well. He had a 911 and 301, but he went 27, 37, and 4. Uh, I guess the only thing they're kind of missing is like a goal scorer, but I mean, you still have Guryanov, first line sniper, 85 overall. His shooting category is, you know, 89. Pretty much across the board, with the one exception of slap shot accuracy, which is only one lower. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. That is very weird. But anyway, um, I still think this was kind of interesting because we saw Columbus win the cup. Was it three or four times? Three times. Okay, and then Colorado. It's just C's across the board. If your city starts with a C, you're winning the Stanley Cup, basically. And then, yeah, obviously we didn't see any trophy wins for the Tampa Bay Lightning players here either but that was kind of fun to do in the sense that we got to see just how broken this engine is <laughs> because that team should not be that bad I mean they maybe should be like middle of the pack not president trophy winning is what I'm trying to say but they should not be last place in the league bad in my opinion anyway well yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it, found it interesting. And again, if you have any insight on maybe why that team was so bad, let me know. But uh, other than that, I'll see you soon.